Hello, and welcome to this Legal Futures webinar on the SRA's Accounts Rules 2019. My name is Trevor Hallowell, I'm a solicitor and I, oh, I apologise, but I've actually spent the bulk of my professional career on the training and consultancy circuit and I have been talking about uh, matters compliance um, relating particularly to the accounts rules uh, for many a long year, since 1984 in fact. Um, but in fact, what I've been saying about the accounts rules, the new version of the accounts rules, the very much thinned down version of the accounts rules, um, I've been discussing uh, since 2018, 2019, when the consultations first came out. And uh, to be honest, there has not been a massive amount of change uh, or indeed commentary from the SRA as to how they interpret these things. <clears throat> in this webinar, obviously, I'm going to be looking at a wide range of things, but I thought I would start off just by saying that why are the SRA reducing the verbiage um, with which we have to comply? I think the thinking behind the SRA's approach is that, to be honest, most firms are, of course, compliant with the accounts rules. There are some errors here and there, some bits of procedure which could be tightened up, but on the whole, we are broadly compliant. And they would say that for the last year for which they were receiving qualified accountants reports from the profession back in 2015, they received 4,500 reports, of which only 179 showed any real threat to client money. And they felt that those were obviously the ones they had to focus on. The other 4,300 were, okay, fine, throw them away. 